Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, I wanted to cover custom folder names in DroneLink, which is a relatively new feature. Custom folder names came in with the software development kit known as MSDK version 5. This is only available on later drones and only available in Android. So at the time of creating this video, that means this only works on the Mavic 3 Enterprise, the Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro. Folder names can be a real time saver if you're working on a job that requires you to split data for upload into different groups. I have a regular site in which I take two orthos, one facade, 10 360 photos and a video and they all have to be uploaded into different folders for the client. So how do we do that? Actually, it's quite simple. Here's an example mission that I set up that contains a map, a video and a bunch of um, panos. As you can see, I've included some extra commands, the most important of which is this camera custom folder name. And I've got three of those. These are quite simple to add. You just add them as a regular component. And then you just type in the name that you want to append to this folder in this custom folder name field. Note that in this case, I have it set up as a required component. However, if you run this on a non-supported drone, this will cause the mission to fail and stop. So if running it on an older drone is a possibility, I would suggest you turn off this as a required field. You should also keep anything you put in here as short as possible. By default, the name starts with DJI, a date, a time, and a three digit sequence number. So before you add anything onto it, you're already at 20 characters. When you run the mission, you won't notice anything different unless you turn on the function to see what's happening in the background. But once the data has been collected, you can see that the data in the DCIM folder has been organized into the different data sets. And you can now upload with much more efficiency. But what happens if you create a custom folder name in a mission and then start doing other things? Well, Anything that you add after that point, and it doesn't matter whether it's in DroneLink or in any other app, such as uh, the, uh, the Pilot 2 app, is going to go into that folder um, that you created, unless you rename it or it's automatically renamed by, for example, starting um, a different mapping service. So just be aware that if you switch applications, this is where you're going to find your data. So before we wrap up, I did want to touch on one advanced feature of the custom folder name, and that is that you can include these two variables. One is called mission name and one is called drone name. The actual syntax is squiggly bracket mission dot name squiggly bracket and then the same for drone name squiggly bracket drone dot name squiggly bracket. And if you include those, it'll take that information from your controller. And what you'll end up with is something like this which is we've got the usual DJI component at the beginning that you can't change. And then it's followed by advanced folder setup test, which you can see up here is the name of this mission. And then Avias M3E, which is the name of the drone that I ran this on. And then it follows by 360 pics. So if you look at this, we've got map, we've got video, and we got 360 pics. And that's really all there is to it. Short and sweet, but for those needing to sort their data, this is a huge time saver. As always, I love to hear your comments, so please comment and subscribe if you've not already done so, and I will see you in the next video.